Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I'm going to tell you about a challenge that I am participating in called Tweet 100 and how I am using automations to both post and track my progress. This is something I was really interested in because as far as I'm concerned, Twitter is a terrible place to hang out and be, but uh, the person who is running Tweet 100 and this challenge, Jay Klaus, thinks differently and I'm always open to getting my mind changed. He thinks that if you tweet consistently about something you care about, you will see better growth, better returns on your investment of time, and you'll get better interactions. And I am a little over a month into the challenge at this point, and I've got to say, I think it's working. Let's dive into the tools I'm using, but first I do need to ask you to subscribe to this channel. If you like the videos I've been putting out, definitely subscribe. I am getting really close to 2000 subscribers, which I'm really psyched about. So uh, sign up and and just subscribe to this channel. It's free. And if you're thinking, uh, Joe, I'm, I'm happily subscribed, but you are putting out a ton of content and I really appreciate it. Is there anything else I can do? Well, kind soul, I'm glad you asked. You can sign up for the Build Something Club over at buildsomething.club. It is five bucks a month or 50 bucks a year. That's two months free. And you get access to my live streams once they're done. I I live stream once a week. And if you want to get access to the archive, then you can do that in the club. You get access to my podcast, uh, uh, ad-free extended episodes of my podcast, and you get them a day early. You get bonus quarterly episodes. You get access to a community. Uh, and I'm very soon, I am releasing an, a sort of automations library for members of the Build Something Club. So if you want to see how I'm automating things, including some of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video, sign up for the Build Something Club today. It's just five bucks a month or 50 bucks a year. Okay, so let's dive into this. All right, so this is Tweet 100, a 100 day challenge for publishing more on Twitter. There's a lot of good information here. A nifty video that it was not made by Jay Klaus. Uh, and then lots of people talking about the tweet 100. So uh, basically, oh, there's a leaderboard down here too. But basically, it's the idea is just to publish better quality tweets. So my tabs are a little bit out of order here because I, I want to cover the Chur app first. Uh, Chur is a way for you to automate uh, threads, doing uh, Twitter threads, right? So you can paste a bunch of text here. Uh, I'm just going to paste in some lorem, uh, lorem ipsum, and then it's going to create the tweet thread for you. You can also decide uh, where you want to split up this text if you're like trying to make a point using the split nomenclature or the split characters here. Uh, And so you can schedule and then drip out tweets, which is super cool. So I don't think, well, now I have that one draft, Uh, but I have a schedule going on here where I started a thread at the beginning of the challenge and I set it to uh, drip out the Twitter thread one per day. So in this thread now, I guess you're going to get a little preview. Uh, We can see everything that's published and then everything that's going to publish. And I'm scheduled through October 1st uh, as I record this video. Uh, So I I go in here and I add uh, every 10 days, I add some more to this thread. And this has been working out really well because then it keeps all of the tweet 100 uh, tweets together. It lets me kind of drip out a story over a day. uh, And then it also shows people the initial tweet and people can go back and get the whole thread, which is really nice. This also pulls in all of your your tweets, uh, so you can see interactions and things like that, and you can add to any of the tweets to make that thread. So this is really great. I'm paying, like, for the pro version of it. It's, like, 15 bucks a month, and I don't know if I'm going to continue it after Tweet 100, but it's been really cool. I've been able to do uh, Twitter threads a lot easier and track my progress. Um, and, and speaking of tracking progress, there are two other th- tools that I use uh, for tracking my progress for this challenge. So uh, getchurapp.com is this first app that helps me 
easily create Twitter threads. There's a ton of tools out here. This is the one I'm using though, and I'm pretty happy with it. I also set up a Google Sheet uh, that does two things. The first is it grabs any anytime I use the Tweet Tweet 100, uh, which hopefully should be once a day. I'd have to go in and double check this, but um, it grabs the date, the actual tweet, and then the URL so I can make sure things are working properly because I don't want to break my streak in, in case something breaks. The chair also emails me if something breaks. Uh, so, And then the other reason is I want to take all of these tweets eventually and combine them into a newsletter sequence because they're all about podcasting. And I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff in the podcasting space. I think that these tweets ultimately reworked a little bit would make a really nice nurture sequence. Uh, I also have the count going here, so I know how many days uh, I've tweeted in a row. So I'm at, as I record this, I'm at day 35. The other thing this sheet does is anytime someone follows me, it grabs their name, their Twitter handle, and then the date and time that they followed. So if I want now, I can get a list of all the people who have followed me and reach out to them directly if I want to ask them, hey, thanks for following me. What, what tweet made you follow me? Are you interested in podcasting or whatever? Uh, the only problem here is this, this tracks follows but not unfollows. So, if, you know, this is 208. I don't know if I've actually gained 208 followers over the course of Tweet 100. And that's where the last tool comes in. This is orbit.love. This is free. It's wild. Uh, it, it allows you to track interactions across kind of multiple social networks. So if I go here, I can link. I've linked GitHub and uh, Twitter. And so I can link and unlink those. Um, and those are the two that are working right now. I am told that they're working on other ones. I would imagine that there will be other ones at a premium price. And so this gives you kind of some different segments to look at who has followed me across various uh, social networks and, and areas, right? So uh, how often they're tweeting and if they followed me on Git uh, on GitHub, which isn't very common. Uh, but then they also have uh, on top of all of the activities. Um, so this is, oh, wow. Um, okay. So this is Chris. Uh, it looks like I'm being included in a, a Twitter conversation right now, <laughs> um, that I didn't realize because I'm, I'm, I'm recording this video, but I can see all of the times I've been mentioned here. Uh, the, the one thing I wanted to actually show you was the reports. So members are people who have interacted with you in some way. You have active members by channel, right? So Twitter follow, Twitter mention. Uh, these could be different, right? So on like the 14th of September, I was mentioned more than usual. Um, and so this activity is cool. You can also create custom dashboards. So I created a new one called followers and I can see my followers by month. So you could see I started using this in April. So in April, I had 41 followers. It was up to 90, but... Then, you know, in the in June and July, it was pretty low. I started Tweet 100 in August. And so August, 128 followers, a lot more. Even like if we say like, oh, summer slump, it's still more than May, right? Which was the first full month I was tracking. And then September, as I record this, is not over yet. And I've already surpassed the number of followers for August. So I think Tweet 100 is working. But those are the three tools I wanted to showcase for you. Uh, Chur, uh, the automation I set up with Google Sheets, and then Orbit. I will link all of those in the description below, as well as a link to Tweet 100. Check it out. It's like a roll, it's like an open rolling challenge. So you can sign up whenever you want. Shout out to Jay Klaus. Uh, thanks to, to Jay for putting together that challenge. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Twitter? Let me know 
in the comments below. I hope I'm not starting a flame war by asking YouTube commenters what they think about Twitter, but let me know what is your favorite. Let's keep it positive. What's your favorite thing about Twitter? Of course, uh, subscribe to this channel for lots of great content. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can sign up for the build something club for bonus content and community. Thanks so much for watching this video. And until next time, Get out there and build something.